more on this, Peter Zalmayev joins us from the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. He is the director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative. Thanks so much for joining us on the program, Peter. Why do you think that Mr. Nazarbayev has chosen this moment to resign? Well, uh, first of all, there have been persistent rumors that uh, the 78-year-old uh, uh, Kazakhstani autocrat has been suffering from a series of illnesses, including uh, possibly cancer. Uh, it is also said that he recently uh, uh, has undergone another medical checkup in the United uh, Arab Emirates, and the uh, result was not very encouraging. I think Mr. Nazarbayev has finally realized his mortality. He also understands that he needs to groom a successor, which has been the biggest uh, question in Kazakhstani politics. I think this move allows him to sort of step aside, not completely leave politics, but to step aside to, con to maintain a certain control and large measure of over the politics of Kazakhstan in order to assure a uh, seamless and smooth uh, transition for his successor. Even though Kazakhstan enjoyed uh, the, a lot of economic success from its natural resources, there have been protests in recent years. Do you think that uh, Mr. Uh, Nazarbayev's successor will need to assess that and respond to those protests? Absolutely. I think this protests speak uh, very uh, uh, loudly uh, to the point that the Kazakhs have grown weary of the strong presidential power. If you listen to uh, folks on this, um, uh, uh, opposition folks, folks that have protested in recent years, they will tell you they do no longer want a strongman president like Nazarbayev, they want a parliamentary republic. So I am pretty convinced that Nazarbayev's successor will have some serious uh, reckoning uh, to do with the opposition and will have to compromise. I do not think that chosen, uh, the chosen one will be able to continue in the same kind of vein that, uh, the, the, that Nazarbayev has ruled his country for the last 30 years. Thanks for that. That's Peter Zalmayev, the director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative. Our apologies for the technical issues with the connection there.